today we have here a BMW E24. It's a, from 1982. It's a 635 CSI. Today, um, as you can see, the odometer is not adding up the, the kilometers. So, um, what we're going to be doing, we, go, we are going to be um, removing the cluster from the car. And um, we're going to inspect, and I uh, already suspect something, which is those two little gears, plastic gears, inside the cluster. Uh, I have designed and also printed in, in a 3D printer uh, my own uh, gears for this uh, type of cluster. Uh, so, um, look at the car, it's a beautiful car. Um, it's an old car, so uh, parts like these are no longer available uh, or readily available. That's why uh, I'm going to be um, remanufacturing some of these parts. So uh, I'm going to be posting in the um, in the link in the description uh, where you can download this file uh, to print it. Um, that um, I have I have designed it myself. It's working really good. And um, yeah, so first off, we need to disassemble the cluster. see we need to uh, remove the um, under dash <clears throat> some people like uh, or remove the, the steering wheel I don't do that I simply remove the under dash then I just lower the entire column which is only two 13 millimeter uh, bolts that holds the, the column in place uh, well at least enough so that we can um, reach the dashboard and remove it as you can see, it's a 13 millimeter, and um, it gives you enough room to remove the um, or to lower the, the steering column, if you will. Now there are uh, four uh, screws, uh, Phillips head screws, um, that you need to um, remove around the, the cluster in order to be able uh, to pull it out it is uh, straightforward from from here on out uh, you have uh, these little lights uh, that fit in the in, in, in its own place and sort of speak so you'd better um, take a picture or something of it so you don't uh, make a mess and then have to assemble everything again just to put it in, in the right place but yeah it's uh, actually very simple these plugs they have a little black tab in the middle you just have to get an eye for something and um, pull them up and you can just pull the, um, the, the plug out that bl little black tab it acts like a little stopper or brake or or cl clip something something like that. So as you can see here, I'm moving the two black gears. The um, yellow one is not moving. It should be. Um, so it means that the gears are broken or worn out so these are the two gears um, brand new gears already installed here and i have here a few um, more already um, printed just in case this uh, this is um, these are the parts for the video cluster there is another one for the um, uh, i really don't recall the other name but i also have those 
um, and in the link in the description you'll find a um, link for both of the, um, the cluster wheels that you might encounter in these cars. As you can see now the odometer is actually turning. So now it's just a, a matter of uh, putting everything back together and um, go for a quick test drive or um, in this case what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift the car in the back and see if it works. see guys I have the car lifted in the back these cars the speedometer the speedometer signal comes from um, the back wheels or the back wheel if you will um, as you can see the odometer now it's uh, working flawlessly so it's turning the 100 meters to a kilometer to a total of um, the odometer reading so yeah guys, if you, um, if you like this video, if you enjoy this type of content, uh, please hit that thumbs up and um, don't forget to subscribe to help the channel, to help someone else. So yeah guys, please stay safe, see you next video.